In perimenopause and menopause, it's very common to have symptoms of low progesterone. Why? Because estrogen tends to be on a roller coaster quite often in the perimenopause phase, and then we're stressed out in that time frame too. And so we end up having the body stealing the precursors to progesterone to make cortisol to keep us going. And the more stressed out you are, the more chances for having low progesterone. So what are the symptoms? Anxiety, irritability, basically at that point where you're like, I don't really know if I like my partner and I want them to go away. And sometimes it's like multiple days throughout the year or the month, sorry, there you're like, I just don't like you anymore. I want a divorce. I just want to go away from you. But what that is, it's quite possibly low progesterone. I have saved marriages and relationships with progesterone. So let me tell you, bladder leakage so if you are into sports right and you do some jump ropes and you notice that sometimes in the month you're okay and other times you're not so much progesterone deficiency pay attention to that dizziness panic attacks huge things that i see related to low progesterone so keep that in mind as well migraines one to two days before your period it can be a low progesterone issue so keep that in mind hair loss. One of the most probably overlooked causes for hair loss is progesterone. And it's related to levels of cortisol being elevated in the body using cortisol to steal the precursors to make progesterone. So yes, stress does cause hair loss. How does it do it? It drops your progesterone. So things to pay attention. Now, what can you do to correct this progesterone deficiency? Well, you could supplement with bioidentical progesterone and take it from the second half of your cycle to the next period if you're still getting your period, or you could take it every night if you want to. One of the other really big symptoms that I'm kind of embarrassed I need to write on here is insomnia. If you're struggling to stay asleep, so fall asleep and stay asleep, progesterone deficiency could be another factor here. So I mentioned bioidentical progesterone, but the other big thing is you can use evening primrose oil. You can use Vitex, which is known as Chaseberry. These are two options that are herbal options. I love using these at first to see if they can help make change. And then if that doesn't do the trick, then you go to the bioidentical progesterone cream or a capsule that can be prescribed to you by your doctor. Now, don't just run out and grab these things. Get some testing. You could test via the blood to look at your progesterone levels. Second half of the cycle, see if they're in a normal range or if they're low, especially in comparison to your estrogen levels, because quite commonly you'll have higher elevated estrogen compared to your progesterone in terms of the ratio. Now, the other way you can see what's going on with your progesterone is looking at the Dutch test, the dried urine test that shows the metabolism of your hormones. And in particular, what is going on with your progesterone metabolism. It also shows you cortisol, estrogens, and your testosterone. So it's a great test to show you kind of the overall picture of what's going on with your hormone metabolism. And you'll want to make sure you do that the second half of your cycle. If you are still having a cycle, if you're not, you could do it whenever. So take note of these symptoms of low progesterone, especially the insomnia one there too, that I have a whole video dedicated just to that. That's why I guess I did didn't think to put it on here. Not sure. But nevertheless, take a look at all of these there behind me. And if you're suffering with any of those, get your hormones tested and see if you can help correct this and relieve some of your symptoms. So I'm Dr. Janine Krause. I have plenty of other videos on perimenopause and menopause. I also have the Health Fix podcast for more information. You can head over to drjkrausnd.com and there's plenty of resources there to help you out in your transition from perimenopause to menopause or through your transition in menopause. Thanks for watching.